Hey guys, what's going on out there? This is Wayne, and today we've got the Xena uh, chain adapter. This is a 14 millimeter chain adapter. This was sent to me by uh, one of my subscribers for YouTube. Uh, so thank you out there. Um, if you guys ever want me to test anything out, I try and test a lot of things out um, just as we go along. Um, I spend a lot of money on, on product and tools. Uh, but I can't get to everything, I'd go broke. Um, so if you do have something you want to see tested, send it to me and I will put it through the gauntlet. Um, so I'm guessing that just judged by the picture here, if you can kind of see the picture, um, you can see that there's a pretty large exposed area right here. Um, and that would be right in here where the chain goes in and the lock goes in here. We should be able to get bolt cutters in between here Unfortunately, I don't actually have the lock um, to go with this. Uh, we can throw some chain in there, but you can easily see that there is definitely some room right in there where you would be able to get bolt cutters in there. Um, I think this is pretty thin, so it'll probably, it should cut fairly easily. I mean, I don't know, I don't know exactly about easily, but it's thin enough right here at that point where your chain's going to be in here and your lock is going to be down here that you can get in here and that's the thinnest point in this uh, and and just based on what I've seen as far as tools and and uh, chain and and lock shackles go uh, if it's super hard it's thin enough it's gonna crack and if it's not super hard it's thin enough it's gonna cut so my prediction is it should cut fairly easily, but we shall see. I'm even gonna go ahead and try and just uh, do this by hand and not uh, use the mechanical rigging system that I've got on my bolt cutters here. Um, let's see here. And so maybe I can put a bit of chain in here to make it look a little more realistic. Okay. Now you're just going to have to bear with me. I don't have the lock part, but you can easily see that there has to be some room in between these two uh, to, to go ahead and move that. So I'm just going to start cutting. All right. There. And if we look, that's going to give us enough room to where we could leave that lock there and just sneak right in. So I'm not all the way at the back of the jaws, just like you would do it in, in, the, in the real world. Now the first one, I'm just going to go ahead and try and grab this and cut it just by hand. And it is cutting it. Oh. <clears throat> you can see that it is damaging it. Uh, my bolt cutters just don't go all the way together anymore. But it is most definitely cutting it. I've used my bolt cutters too much. <clears throat> I mean, that's it's so weak that it won't even hold up. Well, that's irritating to say the least. It's obviously crushing it and cutting it. I just can't get it to go all the way. We'll stuff it in the back and see what happens. That's what I thought. Um, pretty easy. And that was using none of the leverage devices that I have for this. Uh, that was just grabbing onto it. Um, the only real fault being that uh, I've just used these bolt cutters so much that they just shattered. Them. Let's go ahead and Let's see if it'll do it on the smaller one. I've got some little baby bolt cutters over here. Let me 
see it, they'll do it or not. To that problem again but even my teeny tiny little baby bolt cutters uh, are still this is not hardened steel pretty weak pretty easy to cut so Xena chain adapter don't waste your money on good chain because this thing is pretty much garbage so once again guys if you have more stuff send it to me I'll check it out, I'll test it, I'll run it through the gauntlet. Check out the website below, subscribe, share, and like. Thanks a lot, guys.